known lovingly as the rulers of the night, sons and daughters of the moon. Werewolves remain some of the most feared and misunderstood creatures in our world. Unable to control their transformations until they come of age, known for their immense strength and thirst for battle. Orcs have never been a species to underestimate. For a time, they ruled over even the elves. I'm really glad you wanted to come to the Hall of Species with me. I know it's sort of a dorky date, but I adore all of this stuff. And I wanted to share it with you. transform into most things. The goose species are still a bit of a mystery to most. Ever elusive, they have to be cautious to not reveal their abilities to those who want to test on them or restrict them to sexual servitude. This is my favorite. Beloved and feared throughout history, vampires have always found themselves at the center of many a species' fascination and sexual desires. The elegance of vampires who lived alongside humans in the early 1800s. You can't look at these clothes and all the jewelry, the elegance of it all, and tell me this isn't the closest thing you've seen to fairy tales come to life. That's the thing. I, I don't feel this way when I think about myself. Being a vampire to me is just, it's who I am. I don't think of myself as eloquent. I don't think of myself as something to be longed after or sought out. As much as I wish I was, I just... Actually, I do have something I wanted to talk to you about. Maybe we should move to the water creatures section? For some reason, it's never crowded. Maybe because of the restrictions placed on them a century ago. People don't seem to hold them in high esteem like they do with high elves and even the goo people. Here we are. Nice and quiet in here. And Oh my god, look. The vampire mermaid section is open. As a child, I'd sit here for hours and just watch the reenactments. I always found them to be otherworldly. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to make you nervous with the whole we need to talk vibe. But... Here's the thing, I like you. I like you more than anyone I've dated and I think we could have a future together to really get to know each other on a level I haven't let anyone in before. But I don't wanna do that without being honest with you. Not, not to say that I've been dishonest. I've been upfront and honest with everything that has to do with us. I promise you that. But, but when it comes to the core of who I am, I haven't been as honest as I'd like to be. There's something about me I have to explain. I hope you understand. I know that when we met on Creature Comforts, I had listed myself as strictly a vampire. Only, that isn't entirely true. I'm, I'm not like other vampire girls. I'm only half vampire. Well, maybe even a bit less than that. My father, Nikolai, he was born to two half vampires. While my mother, Aloris, she was born and raised in the Seventh Sanctum. That's right. The mosquito people. My mother is a mosquito girl. And my father, a watered-down vampire, making me very much not just a vampire. And before you get upset, I don't think it's wrong for me to refer to myself as a vampire. We do the same things, have the same needs and hungers. I just go about feeding differently is all. Nothing to be worried about or afraid of, I promise you. It was always my dream to be seen the way that they see other vampires seductive, alluring, the kind of being you want to have possess and own you, not like something to be squashed and hated. 
Is it really so wrong of me to want more of myself? To dream of something bigger? Who, who doesn't know about vampires? They are some of the most well-known creatures in the books, dotted through all of recorded time while my kind is exceedingly rare. Shouldn't that rarity make me just as special and celebrated? Like, look where we are right now. Look at these creatures. Sirens, selkies, mermaids, vampire mermaids, and in the main hall, where everyone gathers to gawk and celebrate and fawn vampires. Every shape and size and class, all celebrated and romanticized. Is it so wrong of me to want a piece of that? I'm not asking for fame or adoration. I just, I just want to be more than tolerated. When you messaged me on the app, I wanted to be honest with you straight away. Right? I felt like you were someone I could trust and confide all of this in, but another part of me couldn't get past all the times I've been pointed and laughed at because of my proboscis. Well, no, right now I just look like anyone else, partially because I begged my mother to help me hide my wings under this leather jacket, which to be honest, is more than a little painful. No, we can't actually retract them. I had hoped that my mixed heritage would afford me the same luxury as, say, a succubus. To be able to shift my form and hide my wings the way I can retract my proboscis, but no such luck. You want... You want to see them? I'm not sure this is the best place to go taking out my wings. That's... That's true. Without my proboscis, my wings are not that different from a fairy. I actually, I love them. They may be my favorite thing about myself, if I were to be honest. I have the same coloring as my mother, which is rare in our kind. My mother told me as a child that somewhere along our family line, there was a fairy. And that every few generations, that aquamarine hue likes to pop back out. I was lucky enough to take after her, and I'm proud of them, of her. I know that when I talk about the shame I feel for being half mosquito girl, I may sound like that shame extends to my mother, but it truly does not. She, she's majestic and beautiful and alluring. She's all the things these celebrated vampires are. And, so much more. You can't say those things to me. I'm not beautiful. I'm not implying that you have bad taste. I just... Oh, God, I've offended you. I'm so sorry. I... Okay. I want you to see me, but we can't hear. Even the mostly abandoned water creatures exhibit is too crowded. It's sweet of you to say that you're proud, but I really think you should see me first. Wait, where are we going? Of course I trust you, I'm just not keen on surprises, which is a bit hypocritical, all things considered, but... Where humans where are for the majority we? of civilization on this planet were more prey than anything else. There was very little harmony amongst the species. I had no idea there was an ancient human exhibit. Not declaring war and attacking one another. What? Being hunted by all oh no. Adventure. You're not a vampire either? I suppose we both have some growing and truth telling to do. Okay, I'll show you. Not to be that person, but. I love seeing the look on your face when you see how big my wings are. Everyone always assumes they'll be these tiny things, like, they're no succubus wings, but we hold our own. <laughs> God, it feels so good to be myself around you. You want to see my... No, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. 
What do you think? It's gross, and and they ruin everything. We're more proud than anything else. Okay. Very little harmony. Okay. Was very little harmony. This is humiliating. Yes, it is. I can't speak properly when it's out. The proboscis gets in the way, and all my words end up all jumbled and mangled up. So not only am I ugly, I sound like a stupid child. Can I put it away now, please? You, you don't mind it? It isn't hideously unattractive. Yes, <laughs> you can kiss my proboscis. Just be careful, princess. It's fragile. Wait. Wait, not here. That was way too close. Let's get out of here, okay? We still have a lot to talk about, but I'd rather not have an audience.